This is a new original creation of Romeo and Juliet. I think I'm taking on a version of this that's gritty, quite a lot of emphasis on the acting um, that plays at the depth of the villains equally to our heroes. I'm really excited by how vital and generous all the dancers are. It's, it's quite a bubbly atmosphere and they're very collaborative and I was looking forward to that kind of an exchange where they felt like their voices are actually being expanded upon and not being put upon. They are all very capable actors and dancers and I don't think you can create a story like this without really digging in and mining where their actions and where their emotions are at and it's equally important to the dancing. So I've taken a lot of time to see where it resonates with them, with their characters. But the dancing itself too, of course, we're carried by this grand, beautiful, most incredible score by Prokofiev and we have to do that a huge service. Hamish has been really open to also suggesting things that he feels would be better suited or, or even just his own personal taste. It is a different kind of process when it comes to the acting and it's a lot more give and take and I quite like that I come in with an idea and then I met with an, a different idea of where that feeling sits for that dancer and we can find a hybrid that brings us to the place that feels is necessary for that action to really evolve and, and flourish. The quintessential dance of the nights is so thematic and that music is so famous. I'm quite excited just to actually have that moment arrive and the costumes themselves in that moment are spectacular. And also that it's just so tragic and so the reasons why people end up doing the things they do, it's, it's just steeped in wanting and yearning. And that dance of the night is a perfect meaning of where that all starts to take place.